Hello and welcome to another video. Today I will be showing you my build for Still and what I believe is key for him to be successful in combat in the world of Power Rangers. Now let's get into this. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below if you like the build, if you like what I've done with the video or if you think I need to change some stuff or if you want to say hi to say hi. I would love to see someone's comments. But let's get into this. So first of all, punch, yes, basic attack, whoopty do, everyone knows what that should be. Um, shield block, he pulls up his shield, uh, resistance to some damage, not amazing, I give it that. Um, charge, a very powerful, best Billy on him, I, in my opinion. Uh, basically, you charge in a direction, depending where you're pointing, can't go backwards or forth, only forwards. And you deal a amount of damage, knocking the enemy up in the air, and you stun them for a few seconds whilst they're in the air, so you can get some easy punches on and simple. Uh, force shield is basically anyone whose range you can block their attacks, anyone who goes through it can slow down. Very handy, very simple, but very effective. And then shield slam. He jumps up in the air and he slams his shield down, does a huge AoE damage, stuns the people in that area for a few seconds, and then attacks them with the, like initial attack. When it lands, it will do initial damage. That's what I should say. But never mind. Now, let's get into my build. So, steel is... There he is. There he is. It's like, baby. But never mind. Uh, okay. So, I have Centurion, just health. Still, tanky character. Very powerful in any situation. But, Barrier Token, just in case. Not really needed. Uh, Chronotonic situation again. Harvester Key. I jungle with Still, so it's one of those things. I have it because I'm a jungler, but that's just because of my playstyle. You don't have to jungle with him, but it is most effective that way. Um, health potion can be useful, not too bad. Uh, health token, meh, maybe early on, but uh, mana potion, useful, kind of. Uh, Mendes vial, meh. Scout's ward, not bad. Strike token, healer token, not bad. Um, then we have um, Lord's key. This is a situational because it will have health, and as a result, the health may be useful early game, but I don't use it too often. I'm gonna say that. It's just there in case. But what I would normally do is I would probably put um, this on as my first main card due to raw damage, attack speed, etc. Allow him to be proper heavy in damage and then actually kill the minions a lot faster. Then secondly, I'd go for the second wind timer blade just to stack that damage up. Then I'd probably go for temple blade. Doesn't matter on the majority because you're killing minions in the jungle you're not going to be dealing with energy damage too often. So Temple Plate would be most useful, and then Tune Barrier, and then Pendulum of Lords, just because I didn't have any other cards that could fit in, make it more tanky, so I thought put some health on it. But simply, if you do, so let's say you need to put a health token and a healer's token on at the start, um, until you get about 9 um, PP or card points, and then you buy a Wind Carver's Blade, place them both, have some damage, and then um, start killing people but so if so let's say uh, Murdoch oversteps his line on his lane go up behind him hit him with charge deal some initial damage and kill him and try to get the red buff on as early as possible because that will help you in any situation that you can do now if you did like this video don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment down below so I'll see you next time bye bye